Lewis, hey, congratulations thank for you, being to Peripheral here. Yeah, thank you, man. It's mighty, mighty fun, and I'm honored and uh, privileged. I can tell you, you are a very interesting villain in this series. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. How, how do you get into that mindset of yours? I mean, it's one of those things where... You, it, 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 almost seems, it, it, it almost seems like you're very conniving, like you, you have a master plan. Yeah. Well, um, the quite frankly, you know, I use as a blueprint what's on the page. <clears throat> and he's so well written. He's so well written and, and his, the choice of words were very specifically written, the way he speaks. And to me, that helps shape the character. If he, do, he doesn't use like full sentences, he won't put like certain like if it's um, if he's going to say something like what the f he just says the f you know and and this happens all throughout and I was very cognizant of that and I wanted to say everything exactly the way it was written in the paper on the page because it says something about his um, use of words in the sparing way in uh, in which he uses them so you know, and as far as the uh, the conniving or just the, I think after 40 years of doing this, you just sort of, you know, if you get into, if you're in touch with your, those emotions, mm -hmm. then you just sort of call up on them. And, <laughs> and it's very much easier when you have so many wonderful things supporting you, like the script, like the wardrobe, like the players that you're you're playing against. I mean, some wonderful actors that I got to work with. And, so yeah. Speaking of wonderful projects, you you jump from Westworld to something like the peripheral here. I want to say you being in the near future, were you kind of glad that uh, not dealing with robots? <laughs> uh, well, I love dealing with robots, so it, it would have been okay with me. But it was still, you know, uh, it was fine to be in that near future and just dealing with humans. Uh, but you know. Uh, uh, he he's introduced to some freaky stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much you've seen, but uh, I've, I've seen a bit. <laughs> yeah. So if you you've seen six. Yes. Yeah. So you've seen he was introduced sort of rudely yes. to a, a particular <laughs> uh, thing from the future. So yeah. So uh, you can I, never escape sci-fi, is what it is. That's right. <laughs> you never can. Yes. <laughs> well, exactly. Well, one more thing, yeah. um, um, and, and, and I loved everybody's southern accent. How much did you have to work on it? Not very, not very hard. I'm from Louisiana. Okay. Do you hear a southern accent when I speak? Just a little bit right now. A little bit. But, I've been but, here. But on the series, it was. Uh, yeah, it was full blown. Well, you know, I, uh, I, like I say, I'm from Louisiana, and uh, so a southern accent is not hard at all for me to call on. And I've done different southern accents. I've even done Cajun accents and things where very different. Uh, so that wasn't hard at all. And once I get in the rhythm of it, it's not it's not hard to to uh, you know to st stay there. You know, I have no problem with that. Well, that's great. You know what? I can't wait to check out the rest. And I know you can't wait to, to check I out the rest. Either, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Thank for you. Today. It's thank a pleasure. You. Thank you.